The best environment is the environment where they can hear them easiest. Um, the cochlear implant is working well, your child has developed good spoken language. It's at this time where you don't teach every single word that they actually start learning language incidentally. And you'll just begin to start thinking, I didn't teach them that word, they've just heard that and learnt it. It's an extremely exciting time, but in order to pick up incidental language, language that brothers and sisters are using, language that they might hear over the television, you need to be very aware of background noise, you need to be aware of soft furnishings, you need to be shutting doors between rooms, you need to be not talking between rooms or shouting instructions or directions or questions to other family members. Help your child as much as possible to listen to the language that you provide within your lovely language rich family environment. Usually when it's something new we obviously try and make sure the situations, there's no noisy situation. We make sure only one of us speak at a time because I know when the children are excited they want to speak. We'll have to, sorry, wait, wait your turn. So they have to hold back and they, we take it in turns talking about a particular thing. So say if it's, we've just discovered a new butterfly, um, Phoebe will be really, really excited, so we have to make sure we take it in turns. So he's got to listen to what Phoebe has to say and vice versa. Um, and usually most of our conversations are done around the dinner table, so we make sure the washing machine's off, the cooker's off, and all the noisy things. We've moved our dinner table into sort of softer furnishings. We put a cloth on and the curtain, so... It just gives them that chance just to sort of catch up. Generally, she's okay with her implant, but if it's times when we need to focus in on listening, the television goes off. Obviously, we try to eliminate as much background noise as possible. We sit close to her. We don't tend to have to sit on the cochlear side, but that is better. We do tend to always focus on the left side. That's where her cochlear implant is. Well, if I do pee, I can't wear it because the teacher will go way over 10 metres and it will be buzzing uncontrollably. Also, she'll be running and it, the wind will be going on the microphone and it would be buzzing and I'd be hearing really loud noises and it will be horrible. When, I'm, when the teacher's wearing the radio wave thing, then let's say a monitor or someone coming up to a teacher to ask a question or something um, um, I can hear the monitor's voice or person's voice speaking into the thing and then the teacher speaking back as well so I can hear both of them at the same time and it can get a bit a bit annoying and just, yeah <laughs>